And I've only been at Nielsen six weeks, so I'm still learning. Uh, before that, I was running Watson, so I've been doing AI and, and blockchain for actually over a decade now. Um, I would say, you know, in our field now, where we're focused on two industries largely, the media industry and the consumer industries, there's some lessons which I think can apply to all of you. And there's sort of three things I'd like you to keep in mind today um, about AI and how humans come to it. The first is AI only works on data. So obviously we're all building a data strategy. What I think most people miss is the importance of actually having diverse and inclusive data. Um, it's really important that you're representing the total population. The challenge is, the easy route is to take available data. The problem with available data is it tends to come from uh, more affluent people who have devices. It doesn't cover the third, it doesn't cover emerging economies, it doesn't cover all of Africa, it doesn't cover all of Latin America, it doesn't cover all of Asia. It's really important that we do that. Even in America, um, where we're helping with measurement on television, we found that it was really important that we curate the panel versus just rely on set-top box data. Because when we were relying on, on set-top box data, we were underrepresenting Hispanics, Asian Americans, um, young people by like 20, 30 percent. That data then informs decisions about what shows get produced, it informs decisions about how things get cast, it informs the ad market. If the data is wrong, then all the AI that follows it is wrong. So it's really important that we really understand what our data sets are and that we have large, diverse, inclusive data sets pulling from ecosystems to bring people together. The second thing I'd say is it's really important that you build the skills for velocity. Too many people think I'm gonna go do my AI strategy, I'm gonna put blockchain in, and it's gonna work. These are living algorithms. They improve every day. They self-correct. And they go much faster than people. They run through machines, which means they work 24 seven. They get cheaper every year. They get more sophisticated every year. So you see these enormous curves in the accuracy of the inferences coming from AI. If um, your organization isn't attuned at, at moving quickly, um, you really risk falling behind. The flip side is you have to move quickly but with human curation. We've seen challenges where bots have been um, trained by crowds, they've been hacked in, in different ways, things happen that you aren't expecting. So it's really important that you have an organization that's highly decentralized, people at the front line know your values, whether you're launching new products, whether you're launching new retail operations, or whether you're producing new shows, it's, it's quite important that that velocity happen at the front line. And there's a lot of changes in the way we organize work to make that happen, to allow those decisions to happen. The third, and I think most important point I wanna make is the essence of trust. We're all gonna find that AI is in our lives. For example, we, we now know that of the people who own a, Amazon Alexa, 65% of them use that device for their news. You gotta trust that that news is from a good source. You gotta trust that that's accurate. Um, we're certainly finding in, in every single field that trust is key, and when trust is eroded, as we've seen with hacks, as we've seen with the way elections are handled, as we see with sort of this uh, narrative around fake news, it's a serious problem. And I don't think we can rely on, on governments to solve that. I think it's really important that all of us who work in the field attest to the trust of our data and the trust of our AI. This is why I think blockchain is essential. Um, it's, it's really important that we're all verifying that trust, which is how we can use blockchain. And I think it's really important that be open and transparent and used by all. Uh, we're later gonna hear from uh, Linux and, and Hyperledger. When I was at IBM, one of the most important decisions we made was to put our blockchain technology into Hyperledger. To me, it's really important that these blockchain systems, in order to be trusted, in order to get the data to be trusted under IAI, be open source. It's the only way I know that we can ensure that we've got the most trustworthy systems in the world that we can rely on to make all this happen. Thank you.